Hi, I'm going to show you a very simple method for capturing all your photos and videos from your iPhone, using your MacBook and saving them to an external hard drive. So the first thing we need to do with the MacBook powered up is plug in the external hard drive. The hard drive will power up and within a few seconds will be recognised on the screen of your MacBook. There we go. So we double tap that and open up the hard drive. We can see all the folders that are in there. For this exercise, I'm going to create a new folder to save the pictures into. So we'll go up to File, select New Folder, and then retitle the folder to whatever you want. I'm just going to call this one Test Pics. And I'm going to double tap that to open the folder. I'll shrink down the window slightly because I want to keep this Finder window open on the screen while I'm doing the image capture. The next thing we need to do is plug in the iPhone. So you'll get a couple of messages coming up. If you get this camera upload message, just cancel it. We don't need that. What we do need is the image capture. So we go down to Launchpad, find the image capture software and open that up. Now you'll see that it's recognized the phone that I'm trying to get the pictures from and it's telling me that it's locked with the little closed padlock symbol. There's also a dialog box down here saying, please unlock the phone. So using your normal method to unlock the phone, whether it's face ID or password, just unlock the phone. And once it's unlocked, if the phone has never been used with the laptop before, you may get a message asking you to trust this computer. So obviously select trust. If it has been used, you'll get this message saying, wait while we load the photos and the image capture software will drag in all photos from the phone. In the meantime, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a drop down menu, which is the destination folder for where the photographs are going to be saved. What you need to do at the moment, this is selected to my internal one. So you need to get the screen up, select other. When the dialog window pops up from the other, you'll see that it um, opens up the windows now, I'd already set it up for test pics, so it opens up the external hard drive. Double click the folder that you want it to go into. So now choose that. And at the bottom of your pictures window, you'll see that it is now selected test pics. So that's the folder that these are going to go into. And if you look into the finder window that we'd called test pics before, it's popped in a little folder called Nikki's iPhone XR. The next thing to do. We'll just do a test here. So I'll select one of the photos up at the top. And then at the bottom of the screen here, I'm going to select import. If you look at the folder, you can see those pictures have been moved across. I'll select another one. Select the image. Move down to select import. And it very quickly gets dragged across into the folder. If you want to select all the photographs, the easiest way to do it is by selecting the Command and A, and that selects all the photographs. Then go down to the Import button, select Import. Now you'll see the dialog box showing that it's importing lots and lots of photographs, and you can see the folder very rapidly filling up. In this case, there are 16,351 photographs that need to be imported. So this is gonna take some time, so what you can do is just leave it to run and come back and check on the progress later on. So once the image capture process is completed, you can shut down image capture program and you can eject the hard drive. Once that's done, unplug it, unplug your phone and that's it, job done.